Hello again, Double Talk 73 here. What I'm going to try to do is show you a way to level up when you're in Oregon so that you can get to White Moose Lake. Uh, it's kind of tough here uh, unless you've got higher level gear. So what we're going to be using for bait, uh, let's get rid of this so I can show you the setup. Uh, we're going to be using uh, a Phoenix 1410 that's rated from 5 to 22 pounds. We're going to use a Calisco MG 3000 reel rated at 8.8 .8 pounds. Mono 0 .010 line is rated at 8 pounds. So the weakest part of this is going to be your reel and your line. Okay, Using an oval bobber, uh, a one-odd hook, and grasshoppers and uh, that's the rig now this is time consuming just stick with it uh, I fished here for until oh man one or two o'clock in the afternoon just starting at five o'clock and that sounds like a long long time it's not a long time really uh, an hour of gay time is 15 minutes uh, real time and I wound up with about nine thousand dollars worth of fish now it's 30 let's see Oregon it's sixty nine hundred dollars to come here and fish it's uh, forty nine hundred for the trip two thousand for the license then once you're here it's nine hundred to extend so you've got to catch uh, seventy-eight hundred dollars to break even. But what we're going to do is we're going to fish more than one day. If you can catch between six and seven thousand dollars worth of fish each day, as long as you stay here, the worst case scenario, you're here tomorrow. You have to go to work or whatever. And you come back tomorrow, and you spend another two grand. For a license, always make sure you got a license because uh, it, they can find you up to 10 grand. Okay, let's see, let's make sure what the license charges are. Pretty sure it's 2,000. Yep, 2,000 for one day. Okay, where we're going to be fishing. Oh, here's the other thing uh, 35 inch leader, 35 to 40. 35 seemed to work better. Okay. Where we're going to be fishing is over here by the log bridge. Okay. When you land, you want to go to the left side of the bridge. Whoops. The left side of the bridge. First of all, you're going to land looking this way. You want to turn around. We want to fish up creek. And we're going to walk a little bit to the left side. Now, right in here, I've got a marker. That's for my benefit. But right in here off this point, there's a hole at 64 feet, 60, 63, 64, 65 feet. And that's where they like to be, okay? So we're, with this one-odd hook, you're going to catch a lot of uh, red breast panfish. Whoops, there's that old man cat. Good start. <laughs> but uh, they pay too. Just not as much. So when we get up there, we're going to bring her back to 64 feet. Sixty-three feet. Okay. Now what we're going to catch here is cutthroat, rainbow, uh, red band, um, every once in a while a smallmouth bass. Uh, caught one brown trout they pay really really well rainbow trout pay the best and also uh, the red breast now once it gets started and you can fish here all day okay there's a red breast that's the problem with using the one on hook but it's still 31 bucks 
So you may the grasshoppers if you buy them here, which are more expensive here than they are at the, at the home page, the, the home map page, before you travel here, they're five dollars a piece here. So that's the worst case scenario. The bait always costs more where you're fishing on the lake than if you get it at the store. So when you come here, you're going to want the, your rig set up the way I suggested, and you're going to want two or three hundred grasshoppers. You're also going to want a hundred, 150, 200 small minnows. And I'll show you in a little bit what we're going to use the small minnows for. But uh, you just sit here and, and grind it out. That's all you can do. I haven't figured out with the, le with the level gear that you can get here. I haven't figured out a better way. I wish that I could for your benefit. But and somehow we got to get at 64 feet. That seems to be the magic number. Cast a little bit to the right. And if I put new line on my reel, it would probably adjust better. There we go. And then just wait it. That's all you do, wait it out. I hope this helps you. Uh, once you get a higher rank and you can get some bottom rods, you can come back here with uh, natural eggs and small minnows and stand over where we're going to fish later on at this technique. Use the bottom rods and you'll catch uh, three, four, five pound rainbows and seven or eight pound browns. That's that's possible here. Not at this location, but that's possible in this lake. And they, they pay really well. But you have to have a excuse me, a higher rank so that you can get the bottom rods. And I think it's right around thirty four where you can get bottom rods. I'm not sure. But this rig will work well for what we want it to do. And it didn't seem to matter whether it was cloudy or sunny. It starts out slow. And then as the go, day goes on, it picks up. Okay, there's another red, red breast. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my bobber and use my P key. One, two, three, four, five. Increase it to 40 inches and see if we can't get down there where some bigger fish are. Still the same distance. We want around 64. Just have to grind it out. There's there's no two ways around it. Until you can get a higher rank and get heavier gear. There we go. Heavier gear or better bait. Mayflies uh, work really well. There we go. That's 124 bucks. 21 XP, but it only costs us five dollars to catch that fish. Now if we had a small minnow on there it cost us forty-five dollars to catch that fish. We still made money, but by saving money on our bait, you make money. That's just the way I look at it. But if you like my video, if it helps you, 
please hit that subscribe button and that bell over there to the right to the right <laughs> the other right so that when I put up new videos you get notified I appreciate it any comments good or bad I got one the other day that was totally rude and crude first of all I reported it then I answered it as politely as I could and then I deleted it that happens too you can please some of the people some of the time all of the people some of the time but you can't please all of the people all of the time or something like that <sighs> you can please some of the people all of the time and all the people some of the time but you can't please all of the people all of the time that's the way it goes another red dress ah personal personal dress okay cool Oh, well, let's try it. We didn't pull it in too far. We'll find out. You never know. That's the way you th find out things in the game. Give it a try. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But sit here. Sit here and grind it out. That's just, that's just, that's the sad thing about it. But when you're lower levels, that's what you got to do. You just have to grind it out until you can go to the to the upper lakes with heavier gear, catch bigger fish, more XP, more money. Whenever I need money, I go to California and farm sturgeon with bottom rods. But I have to be able to buy those bottom rods. I have to be able to buy... Uh, large cut for bait uh, I have to be able to use them you know whatever it takes to catch them here we go cut through the trap that's a nice one that's 158 see cost us five dollars to catch that fish that's not bad you just stay here until I would say around 1130 daytime and just keep cranking these out little ones big ones whatever will take those grasshoppers and you should wind up in the uh, four thousand dollar range by then which pays for your trip and your one day license okay and you can stay there whole, the whole day if you want to catch them fish you catch them with a, a lot faster than the, than the next technique I'm going to show you okay there again made money okay that's the spot okay now here's the next setup we go to maximum uh, get rid of this we go to maximum leader we're going to use a two odd hook let's see a two odd hook and this fish is slow this is for and for bait we're going to use large minnows. Now remember, those large minnows are going to cost you 45 bucks a piece. So we need we need to catch bigger fish. Okay. So where we're going to go? We're going to go to the boat dock. Okay. And we're going to go over here by these rocks. We're going to be fishing out in this area. And for a bobber. We're going to mess with them. So we want a slim bob. No, I want an oval. I still got an oval on there. Yeah, I still got the oval. Okay, they're still good. Okay. Got to think through it again. We're going to be fishing out in this area. Maybe a little further over to the, to the left. And what we're going to do, we're going to advance our time. I'm going to use a coin. You, you don't need to if you fish over on the bridge long enough. To, let's say, 12 p.m. You want to come over between 11, 30, and 12. Okay? Now, we're still cloudy. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is, when I cast that out, the weight of that hook, fish, 
is going to drag that bobber down. See, there it goes. Now here, we want to be on the bottom around 100 or 99 feet out. So I, I showed you that just to let you know what's going to happen with the bobber. <laughs> uh, so I use my blue circle. See that rock right in there? That's a good aiming point. So I use my blue circle, start it, bam. One oh eight. Now I don't want to start cranking back now because I want to be around one oh one or one hundred, but I want to be on the bottom at that distance. So we let her get down there. Okay. 101. Let's try 101. Now, this is where we'll catch, and this is how you catch bigger fish. Now, we use a technique like this in Canada, and these numbers move. Here they don't move, but we're going to get blue along here to let us know when we got a fish. That's the only way. And you hear the ding, so you know you're getting strikes. Uh, shouldn't catch any of the, the red breast. Uh, pan fish here because if you catch a $45 and use a $45 bait and catch a $30 fish you just need, you need a bigger truck you need a bigger truck so you can haul all that money to the bank <laughs> uh, come on fish hit it hit it so I can show I'm not a dummy like I think I am. There we go. Got it. See what I mean? You were getting the dings. And uh, I have a video on the technique in Canada. This very technique. Using larger rods. Uh, four rod hook. Shiners. The right length leader and everything. But that's, uh, I call it technique, how to catch uni and trophy lake trout. Okay, there you go. Now, see, that's a $200 fish, almost 188, 2.4. But it took us a while to catch it. Made more money. Same thing. Let it sink. And you bring it back to around 99 to 101. Seem to be a good number. Oh, and I got a strike on the way down. <laughs> that minnow's swimming around. Oh, did you see that? It moved. Because it was on the way down. It wasn't on the bottom yet. That fish hit it on the way down. That's why the, the numbers, that's why the numbers went from 107 to 106. That's pretty, the first time that's happened. That's pretty cool. What we got here? Cutthroat. We're getting ready. $126 fish. Still made money. $45 bait. But here again, starting at about 11.30, you can sit here and fish the rest of the afternoon. And catch fish make a hundred dollars a fish roughly and if you'll catch some some rainbows or brown trophies you'll make more but then you can go to the next next morning once you I haven't tried at night so I don't know if it'll work at night or not that I haven't done. That I'll, I'll leave that for you to experiment because I don't want the video to be too long. There we go. See? Now they're hitting fairly regularly because we're we're at the peak of that uh, the cloudy day, and we fished over there off the log bridge up until this. We catch fish there as long as we can, making money with the grasshoppers and the one on hook 
come over here and switch to the two auto. This is a decent fish. It doesn't want to come in too easy. Anyhow, then use the two odd hook and the large minnow so that we can catch bigger fish that cost us more to catch. Here we go. Again, it's a decent rainbow. And you will catch, like I said, you will catch a trophy rainbow and cutthroat here too. I have. It's just patience. Patience and grinding. PPP is what I call it. Patience, practice, persistence. There's another one here on the way down. That's pretty cool. So I watch the numbers when I hear that ding when it's on its way down. And if it doesn't move while it's on its way down, uh, there we go. Cool. That's two for two. I like that. It's a nice fish too. But anyhow, that's the way you farm here, and it's the way you can level up. It's just, it's time, 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 time. Ain't a hell lot you can do. You can't hurry it up. Uh, at the upper lakes, you can catch bigger fish, more XP, more money. Here you just, the lower lakes, you just have to do what you can. A nice, another nice rainbow trout. Okay, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see, this will be the view. That ain't what I wanted to do. I don't care about that. Is that what I want to do? No. Is that what I want to do? No, it wasn't that. No. Anyhow, there we go. I forget from time to time. Nice rainbow. <laughs> Y'all got to remember, I'm an old man. I don't remember everything all the time. That's why I have markers all over the place. Just for my benefit so I can remember what to do. Anyhow, thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Uh, you and your families. Uh, I hope you like my videos. Please subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you out here again. Uh, I'll catch you out here later. And y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>